so <coughs> excuse me my voice is uh, going a bit funny right now hope you're all doing well as always I am here to do the full moon discussion this day and it is a full moon in Leo and essentially an eclipse we are in 22 degrees approximately and um, should have a good elements to work on when Leo is in the phase of the moon is with your upper back, your spine and your heart. Yes and also good um, stones, crystals, gemstones you would call them to use with um, the Leo energy is tiger's eye or cat's eye, ruby, amber, emerald, carnelian, uh, citrine, say amber, onyx as well. Okay, so um, Leo, Leo the king of the jungle. It's uh, very much a vitality, determined energy, a vital force is connected to the sun energy. He rules the fifth house of love and romance and just a lot of people say that Leos are proud. Um, but I think they just have real high standards for themselves and they want to show the best but they want to make sure that you're worthy and that you're doing the same as well, you know? And all I find about Leo's is that it's a, the outer word appearance isn't always the in, inside feelings thoughts you want to call it. Yes, and you know, I understand that's like most of us anyways, we all have that one coat, we want to take it off, there's a cardigan or something, and then we get into the vest, you know. But, um, <coughs> they're often perceived as very cocky, beings, you know, know it all, very, very fashionable. Or put together, but they like anybody have emotions, or they it's very hard to crack that nut, <laughs> crack that shell, and to see that they are very heart driven energies for the most part. And so, yeah, I just do love the, the fire energy, <laughs> anyways. Um, Leo one of the most beautiful things I can even tie to what I was just saying is that they're connected to fatherhood they love the children and the children are our future the children are our babies and they need protecting they need protecting so our work so they don't have to repeat anything that we have already supposed to complete. Yes, yeah, so there's um this guy's looking like a envelope on top with a pyramid on top of it. <laughs> when you look at the natal chart for this day. Um, that's what the diagram looks like almost. And the aspects are opposing but harmonious at the same time. Yes. It's uh, still in the Aquarius soul. And so it's still that rebellious of the missionary energy. It changes the humanitarian aspects, the macro 
Jupiter and Uranus <coughs> are expanding things for us again in a grandeur way, in a macro way. Mercury is also in Pluto, helping us communicate those big transformations because there are big transformations coming with the sudden changes in Aquarius and Uranus. Saturn's there to just oversee, I will put it again, you know, <laughs> or overlook is the boss, checking that everything's being done accordingly, it should be done for the highest, greatest good, and at this time of the eclipse, whatever you put your mind to in the most highest steed is, is due to come out in a benevolent way the greatest good, for the human race good, that one race, you know. Yeah, so I think um, my ritual is definitely going to be geared towards the children, and I urge you to do the same. Yeah, this is going to be a shorter clip period. A little, a little differently driven but the message there for that I do care <laughs> and I give thanks peace